Let's get right into your magic because one thing you're not is a disaster and you're a magic maker. And I've, you know, I've really adored being in groups with you and watching you. And I'd love to learn more about how you started your Truth Porn magazine or the Alex Her magazine and where Truth Porn came from and how you're changing the world. Okay, so... I think we know each other from a couple of years ago. Yeah, and Katrina the, 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 Yeah, exactly. The Rich Cheek Mastermind, I think, or even earlier. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so from there. So, you know, just saying where we know each other from really sets the, the ground for, you know, why is it, it is what it is right now. Yeah. Because she's amazing and uh, working with her, actually, I have to give her an, a lot of credit. Um, activated me to the point that where I was like, um, okay, I would just let it all out. <laughs> yes, right? Write, write, write every day. I mean, the everyday part came later mm -hmm. uh, on the journey, but, you know, I would just, I, I just started writing uh, my, the message that I had every day, right? Right. So it started about 2015, actually. Oh, oh. 16 maybe when I came up with the name True Porn, mm. and it was just inspired. So, you know, like, uh, we had the food porn and whatever porn, right. everything was porn. <laughs> back porn. Then, back yeah. Then. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I was, uh, I just decided to write True Porn. And funny enough, I registered that as a hashtag, but I'm officially, officially, like, oh. the founder of the hashtag. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I started writing it. It was always to be a daily thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was the, it was a journey to get to the daily. <laughs> right. And, and that's something that them. Katrina Ruth really teaches and really inspires yeah. and activates within somebody, right? To yeah, the, exactly. the clearing away, pushing away the world until... I've opened myself up to message yeah. and source. So, so that was the, the most important part about all of that, right? To get mm -hmm. to the point when it became my priority. And it was just recently. Mm -hmm. I, th I think I shared that on Facebook. It was just recently when I started like writing every day, every day. Uh, I prioritized that. And then w this is when the, the, the real magic started happening. Mm. So, so the consistent I'm, letting out of the message is really, I think, the, 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 the secret sauce, not so secret. But yeah. Right. It is not so secret, but it is, it's one of those things where it's like, it's so easy. It's so simple, but not easy to actually embody something. It's like, oh yeah, I can see it. I can do that. And then when it comes to the daily showing up. Yeah, the day is showing up and really merging the contradiction in your in your mind that that thing does. I'm in business. That thing doesn't mean make me money, but without that thing, there's no money. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yes. I don't. Nobody pays me for writing my true form. But then when I don't write it, nobody buys anything from me anyway. <laughs> so kind of like my soul wants to get out. And mm -hmm. then the flow and block the flow of everything good into my life. Like right, that. right. And when you when you just open yourself up to, well, this is what I'm doing. This is what, this is my soul's message. This is my soul's journey today. This is what it is. Yeah. Um, that's what opens up our access to everything. And the flow to and through us of love, money, whatever it is. Um, freedom. For me, it's been like accessing greater, greater um, levels of freedom through love and money and business just by saying, well, what is, what is aligned for me to do today? And it's just like a magical thing. And it's, you unpe you, you peel back the layers of non-truth, right? 
story. Exactly. Yeah, this is how I how I see the manifestation process as, as basically uh, getting rid of stuff that doesn't belong into my life anymore. Right. Because right. Traditionally, we are uh, thought that manifesting is something we have to do. Right. Something right. extra that we have to do. But actually, it's not. We are manifesting all the time, and all we have to do is get rid of those layers that block our natural flow of things, like kind of like oh. <laughs> but yeah, this, it is just like that. It is that simple, but it mm -hmm. it takes the total like up. You have to switch your thinking upside down. Basically. Right. Right. So I'd like to get a little bit for our audience to learn a little bit about your story. I know you're a mother of four, four children <laughs> and <laughs> you also, <laughs> and you have homes in three different parts of the world. Yeah, and we have a home in Mexico and we're building something in Africa too. Oh, wow. Where in Mexico are you? Manzanillo. So it's I'm, like uh, close to uh, Puerto Vallarta. Oh, okay. All right. And where are you now? Where in the world are you? Right now I'm in my home country, Poland. Wow. Wow. Okay. So tell us about your story getting to this place and having this level of freedom. Ooh, yeah, I'm writing about this in that freebie uh, book that I gave you, The Grand Leap. I call it, it's like the story of my life, but no, but really it, uh, it, ha it didn't happen overnight, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it was a process. There were quantum leaps um, I took from basically uh, charging like $12 per hour when I was a struggling <laughs> virtual assistant <laughs> to right. basically charging uh, $1,000 for, for an hour of my consulting time. Let's Which talk about cool. that because I don't. I, I want to hear about that a little bit because I I think some of my audience is maybe familiar with like the concept of quantum leaping and um, like just really allowing magic into our lives and how things can turn just like that. Can you talk a little bit about that quantum leap you took oh, and how yeah. that happened? Well, I was doing this unconsciously mm -hmm. until up. Uh, around like maybe two years ago mm -hmm. because it's natural so it's not like we have to learn something again it's not something like right. to do something right it's natural when we get into this when we just start listening to ourselves it becomes our natural thing to do yes but when it comes to quantum leaping it's um it's like we have timelines right mm -hmm. so we can jump on the higher timelines lower timelines we feel that. We don't know that. We feel that, right? So when we feel great, we're on the higher time timeline. Mm -hmm. That's so easy, right? Um, but if we want to stay there, we have to be consistent with the feeling and great and doing the things that make, make us feel great. This is like the, I would, I would say, like the sim simplified version, right? Mm -hmm. So timelines are streams of consciousness. Uh, at any time, we can... Um, we can access any stream of consciousness. So we can yeah. go from homeless to living in a, in a castle, right? It, just mm -hmm. like that. Um, when we start looking at it, at that uh, streams of consciousness, like jumping, quantum jumps are basically moving in between the streams of consciousness, which are mm -hmm. timelines, like I call them timelines. Some people call, call them lifelines. And this is actually a quantum-based uh, scientific thing right so it's like more um meat and potatoes of manifesting because mm -hmm. mostly the manifesting people around there they tell you something but they don't know how it really works um so when we are quantum jumping we are moving uh between those timelines right so we mm -hmm. go from lower ones to higher ones sometimes we go back to the lower ones and so on and so on so on the like micro level, every day you wake up and you can jump on the lower one. Like if you have uh -huh. kids, like I have kids, right? It's so easy to just lock It'll in and down. lower feeling. Yeah, in like 
oh my god what's going on we are on summer vacation uh, i have to like um, you know escape my house and do this live stream on the parking lot of mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> this is the reality. Or I can be like, wow, so cool. I'm going to be talking to Gina today. I love her. She's so beautiful and so pretty. Oh my God, this is so cool too. You know, right. it's the same situation. Yes, it's a choice, right? It's it a is constant... the same situation. Yes. So miracles yes. The, of quantum the... shifts are the shift in perception. That's all. That's it. And you have to be consistent with that. And when you see that, you have millions of choices every day. Every Millions day, of decisions. every day, every day, every day, like I every think moment, it's about 30,000 decisions that we make a day. Mm -hmm. So Alex, it's so let's, let's really bring this home for the, re the, the listeners um, who are watching the replay. The outer circumstances don't have to change. What has to change no. first, right? It's our, it's our perception. Yeah, I know I'm telling this as it's so easy. It is not. I, I, it was hard for me too, right? Well, it's, a simple, I, I it's another very... simple thing that's not easy because we're not programmed. But when you program yourself, right? When you go, oh, my, my physical surroundings have not changed, but my perceptions change. That's, thank you for really making that such a clear example. I, I have to, oh my God, I've got my kids all running around. I've got to go in my car to a parking lot to get some peace, to do this live stream. Or, oh my God, I get to G be on Gina Brogan's live stream. How amazing. Another soul sister who speaks the same language. The conditions are the same, but the attitude, the perception. And when you do that a million times a day... You move to the higher timeline permanently and you stay there. Yeah. And that just becomes your new normal, right? So it does. how did you apply this? You were $12 an hour virtual assistant. <laughs> Struggling. Oh my God. I and don't even the... remember. I don't know her <laughs> anymore. So <Right>? yeah. <laughs> I don't know her. It was such a long time ago and my, yeah, it's about levels of consciousness, right? So my consciousness back then was that I was charged $12. I'm going to be attracting crappy clients who will even, want even, you know, they will want to pay even less. They will right. ask me for sliding scales and whatever and whatever. That was my consciousness and that was what I was attracting, right? Yes. Um, yes. And usually in those moments of like, uh, oh, can we can we curse? Fuck yes, it. I, yes, yes, I'm yes. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, you cannot let in more of the, you know, love and light, whatever. It's like the flow. Because when yeah. you just give up and you're like, <clears throat> the flow, you allow more flow. And then in those moments, you can jump on the higher timeline, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, and I you're activated. always very, very intuitive. So kind of like... Um, I was always, I always knew that I'm divinely guided since I can mm -hmm. remember. Yeah. Of course, I did a tremendous amount of work to block that, <laughs> as we all do, right? We just work so hard on just blocking ourselves from the divine flow. Um, so I, uh, there were times in my life when I was really, really, like, really low and depressed. And yeah, I had depression, suicidal. I went to all of that. It's like... I'm not even, I cannot even talk about this right now because I'm talking about this like um, some people may have this uh, like idea that I'm just making fun of it. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I just cannot relate to myself back then anymore. You know? Right. Like I see myself, I have compassion for myself, mm -hmm. for that for that person really. That version of you, right. And you just yeah, but are, I just, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. I, I totally get it. I experienced that too. And I was like a suicidal single mother going, well, the world would be better off without me. And yeah, I, I discovered the law of attraction. And I cannot relate to that woman I was. And yeah, of course, I still have absolute compassion. I understand, which is, I think, what makes it so relatable is that, um, 
I understand when people are practicing mm -hmm. that. And, and, and it's like, if they understood, oh, I'm practicing this way of thinking and being, and if they could just believe that choosing all of these segments of time and choosing into that higher timeline as many times as they can per day and flooding their day with that different thinking changes everything. Yeah. One thought at a time, though. What helps? And I found it really like helpful when I try to lift up people who are really low. Mm -hmm. Because when you just you know dump on the on the on the timeline with the person that is seriously like depressed or suicidal, like and you're like, hey, you can do this, yeah, right, yeah. Like, oh, freaking, you know, right. look at my life, it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> so, what helps really and it helped me many, many times is uh, I was, I even, I think I wrote about it. God is my source. I have everything. God is my, that was my mantra. I was homeless with two kids and pregnant. God is my source. I have everything. And you know, like my, my situation changed overnight. God is my source. I have everything. It just, so we don't push on the higher timelines. Like, oh, it's, everything is fine. I'm homeless. I don't know when I'm going to uh, sleep tonight. And we don't do this because it would be just it create resistance and it creates right. and uh, disbelief. And it, uh, yes. Disbelief, yeah. And mm -hmm. it just creates more gap between where we are and where we want to be. Right. So uh, what's the best thing is just to be still, go inwards and, you know, like God is my source. I have everything or... God, I would say God, not the universe, because we don't, universe is not our God, universe, universe is a tool, uh, God is the source of everything, and he will handle that if we just sit still and, uh, you know, allow the flow, right? Yes. So it's all about allowing the flow of things, because we are natural, like, that's the point, I, I think I'm trying to make, we are naturally slow flowing towards the, the, the towards god towards divine towards light we are programmed for that we are worthy of that it we just try so hard to you know uh, block the flow <laughs> basically like i said before I, yeah i, I hear flow. what you're saying it's so it's it's normal and natural for us to be in the flow of source, I call it the river. Sometimes it's just I'm I'm in the river where all I need to do is just be, and the things, the inspired thoughts, or the opportunities just show up without me doing anything special. Yeah, exactly. This is the, what I'm what I'm saying with the upside down. Like you flip the thing upside down. Yeah. I'm looking at everything from the meta perspective, from like beyond, like I see people and I see divine beings who are trying so hard to forget that they're divine beings. I'm like, just chillax. You, you're gonna, even without doing anything, you're gonna go towards your dreams, just you're gonna flow towards your dreams. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying just sit on your butt and not do anything. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm trying to make a point that manifesting and quantum leaping and you know, attracting the luxury, luxury, beautiful things into our lives, the beautiful relationships, love, and everything we want, it's natural. It's not, right. it's not, it's not work. It's natural. The real right. work is to remove the, the blocks that we put on ourselves, the programs, the, the, the shit that we just like cover ourselves in and not let, to not let, to not let in the, 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 the natural flow of things right and um to speak to the yeah you don't sit on your couch and go well i manifest i wrote a check for 10 million dollars paid to me you don't sit there but the actions part is is not to worry and go how am i gonna i'm, I'm doing all of these special manifesting things that i've seen people do but it's the the getting into the trust and faith that it's natural for me to, you know, be in the hands of God. And instead of going, how is God going to get me the money? It's 
trust it, it's going general it's not like oh i need the money i need the house i need the lover i need the, the the car it's getting into that general state of trusting god when to allow you to to let go of that resistance and then the inspiration to take action may show up was there an inspired action thing that you took to go from the $12 virtual assistant to charging a thousand dollars per hour? Was it something that was like, oh my gosh, you removed some stuff and got an idea? How did that look? Do you remember? Yeah, so before the $12 per hour virtual assistant stuff, I had a business and it was a it was a disaster basically i mean the business was cool the business was good but i had a partner who was my best friend and um, then you know I, do i have to explain we just right. parted ways, yeah. and it was just a big divorce you know mm. like oh, it was yeah. horrible i was i was left with depression and all of that like i said uh. i had depression too many times <laughs> so that was my second business actually and i decided to go into service business because the first business was e-commerce and we were selling clothes a lot mm -hmm. of work i do not recommend <laughs> um <laughs> so then i started as a virtual assistant and my business was called busy hands which was the you know it was a reflection of my low self-esteem <laughs> right right I'll juggle all the plates for you. I'll be the busy yeah, hands. Yeah. Yes. Frantic. I'll, I'll, be your, yeah. I'll be your slave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course it didn't work. I had some clients who were uh, basically pain in the butt um, right. because they were coming to me for the, because I was cheap. Right. So right. Uh, if you charge cheap, you're going to get cheap people. <laughs> this is the best business advice I can get. I can give you right now. You're going to get the bargain um, hunters who do not want to actually pay for the actual service okay so, so again i was ready to i was ready to give up <laughs> i was mm -hmm. like Ugh. but i got this idea that maybe i should um hire a coach business coach like mm -hmm. an international business coach because mm -hmm. that was at the time i was not i was not um uh, running an international business so i hired a coach like that was my i borrowed money for that there was, right. It was five hundred dollars, guys. Five hundred dollars. I didn't have the money. I had to borrow the money. It was crazy. It was crazy move. Right. I hired the coach. Of course, I moved. I, I became a fabulous VA. Uh, we rebranded. I started charging whatever thirty five per hour. Mm -hmm. I started attracting clients. My branding was so spot on. I, I went from the busy hands corporate like branding <laughs> into this butterfly pink website with whatever nice. else you know gold fuchsia pink fuchsia pink whatever I mean, it was just it was so unprofessional and so gorgeous and so fabulous that i started attracting people like you know crazy uh, in the first week after i rebranded re i i attracted like three clients so wow and they were on on retainer right so i right. made the money back immediately right wow so they were like on 10 hour retainer. So what I mean, like thousand bucks the first week. And I'm like, <laughs> for me, <laughs> that was heaven. Right. Uh, yeah. So then it was going great. But then I went into, into overworking myself again, because yeah, why not? Right. Uh, I had 16 clients at one, at one point. Well, <laughs> and I, yeah. And there's more about this in this uh, Grand Leap book. That I, I can't wait to read this. Oh my gosh. But yeah, but 16 clients times 10 hours, it's 160, 160 hours a, a month. It's a job. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It's a job. Yes. So I, I created right. a job for myself. And again, I was like, uh, I, I really, I had, I manifested some health issues, which were mm. really like nasty health issues. Okay. I remember working on my client, on one of my clients, Stella Stamin from hospital bed. It was, it was that bad. It was that bad. So, um, and what else? Well, I took, you know, I didn't know back then what I know now. So I took some time off to rest or, you know, to just regroup because I was burnt out. Yeah. And then I launched my first consulting package, which was, it, it was a huge uh, leap in consciousness, you know, for, like I said at the beginning, the timelines are yes. states of consciousness. Yes. So I was on this 
I was still on the stream of consciousness of the slave girl. Trading you know, time for money. Sorry. Trading time for my money, overworking myself, not valuing myself, and especially not valuing what I have here and not here, right? Yes, so, yes. Uh, because I was still a VA, I'm and here. despite the fact that I had, yes, yes we will, we're gonna get to that. Oh, we're getting, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so because I had business before, and it was a thriving business at some point, um, I had a lot of experience in marketing. But as a VA, you know, my clients, they wanted cute graphics and PDFs and whatever else, not, right. not the marketing advice. And I was like <clears throat> getting a little frustrated because I wanted to sometimes tell them not to do something because it doesn't make mar sense in marketing from marketing point of view. Right. And, you know, they wouldn't listen because I was a VA. Um, so I had, I made, uh, I hired the same coach actually, and we created my first consulting package. Uh, which was like a fabulous, <laughs> um, <laughs> fabulous branding. And the package was like the package was like fifteen hundred, I guess. And uh -huh. I sold three of three of them within like wow. a week, two weeks, wow. maybe or three weeks. And it was like I was like, what? Almost like five thousand dollars in a month. So I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that's so cool. And it, you know, it's not about money, but it is about money, right? It all goes simultaneously. Kind right. of like the, we expand our consciousness, we expand our capacity for receiving money and everything else. I, I'm in a money school, basically. Like my soul is in, in a money school. So mm -hmm. money was the biggest lesson for me. So that's why right. I probably yeah. relate everything I, to money. I think a lot of the people right now are in money school. Um, and raising our wealth consciousness is part of it. And I think it's, I think it's so amazing women around the world are teaching other women how to take back their power in their lives by learning how to access the flow of money. This mm -hmm. is, I think, changing the consciousness of the world. Yeah, that's, that's so important. Why we have to be like, oh, if I'm spiritual, I'm not materialistic. Well, I think that I think that was part of the programming that we are unprogramming. Yeah, exactly. Like we need to start merging those contradictions in our brains yeah. so that we become full and whole and you know entire human beings, not just parts. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> So going from the VA to consultant when I was paid for what I had to say was like a it was it was a big another quantum leap expansion yeah that was a big, and it went with more money like it came with more money right and it it's like it was always working for me so then uh, I started just selling coaching because still the consulting package mm -hmm. the first consulting package I launched it was with some VA work as a bonus. So then I started just, you know, consulting with less of the VA work and I moved into coaching. And then mm -hmm. I signed up my, my first client as a coach, mm -hmm. which was again a huge leap in consciousness because right now I'm just coaching people. I'm not telling people what to do. Right. Um, and I'm just sitting there and, you know, like <laughs> giving them maybe ideas or maybe, you know, some nudges on what they want to do. But I'm guiding them now. I'm not telling them what to do. I'm guiding them, right? Right. So coaching was the next step. And really like some hybrid of coaching and consulting was the final step. And right now I'm really moving into more of just I am influencing more people because one-on-one -on -one work um, is cool. Some people will want to stay there and never move, you know, into mm -hmm. just, more influence, mm -hmm. but my soul, I feel called to influence many, many people. So uh -huh. I can well, do this with one-on-one -on -one work, right? Right. Um, yeah, and like, um, well, you can, if you choose to, you know, you can incorporate that into, but I see, everything I see from you is you have a huge, influence like that's your energy is massive impact 
So that yeah, lines yeah, up. I, I cannot deny. Yeah, I, I have. That. That's what lines up for what I <laughs> claim, my experience. Claim to fame. <laughs> claim to fame. Yeah, I was fighting with that mm -hmm. because it's people see see it as you know being arrogant or whatever. Who does care what she wants, right? Stay in your lane. But I always had this idea that I will be influencing massive amount of people right right i had the number 10 million but we'll get there maybe well you will when you decide to right when you open up that <laughs> that channel that you take that quantum leap because i there's nothing in what i experience of you that would be counter that like all evidence from what i perceive supports that you have a huge impact on everything that I see. So it just makes, for me, it makes perfect sense. There's no like big leap to go there. It's just when you allow Thank it. You. Well, yeah. I also learned that, you know, uh, I don't have to go to billion dollar. Also, although mm -hmm. I have ideas, I could. <laughs> but, right. you know, if yeah. I can quantum leap like every six months, Mm -hmm. I'll get there in, in seven years anyway. Well, the, I believe that there's a real there's a real beauty in the dance between the quantum leap and shift internally that leads to the incremental upgrades, right? Like you showed your incremental, like twelve dollars an hour, you went up to thirty five dollars an hour, and somewhere inside of you, you're like, wait, I can do this, and then the next came inside you were like well this is no longer aligned for me but these were all the steps and there's there's a quantum shift that goes on inside where you're like wait a minute I should be doing this or you get this idea to hire a coach with money you don't have but oh, that something was, that was something the craziest thing you, you know yeah something inside of God spoke to you and said hire this coach, which then less than two weeks or a week later opened up your access to the, the $35 clients. Yeah. So yeah, the following, following the intuition and when you feel guided to buying something and it's not my idea, it doesn't come from me. It comes from actually, you know, Katria, she, she talked a lot about this, right? Right. So when you, when you feel called to invest in something just do it because that unlocks the next level wealth like crazy and even i know that i have proof of that i still resist that every day right yeah. i feel called back i'm like oh should I, oh should i spend the money like right now we are um working on the remodeling projects i'm like god there's so much money like money comes money goes money comes like oh, windows and whatever mm -hmm. floors you know that that stuff costs so much money i've never done that in my life and i feel right. so resistant <laughs> i'm like resisting it every day i'm like where's the money what the money just you know money money comes money goes like the the, the remodeling project i never done that in my life but that's why i'm still surprised <laughs> it's your whole it's your new level right <laughs> yeah it's my new level of consciousness and every time we go to the new level of consciousness there will be resistance right like, right that's what Probably that was my point <laughs> yeah. of this random, <laughs> random story. But going to the yeah. next level of, of consciousness of the streamline or um, timeline or stream of consciousness. Awareness is is the key. Awareness, right? Not no non-judgment actually, because I know that your group is about codependence. Mm -hmm. I am also codependent and but I'm aware of this now. Right, right. It's, uh, if we only could look at those things like, okay, codependence is just a stream of consciousness, which is below independence. And then uh, independence is below interdependence. And, mm -hmm. you know, if we, if we could look at it from, okay, so it's just a state, state or a stage or whatever, you know, you, you can pass. You can pass through that. You don't have to heal or judge yourself for being codependent because it's actually not natural thing. 
Right. Uh, exactly. Because at yeah. some point we depend on every like we are codependent because we depend on everything or, or uh, on others, right? On the outside Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Dependent. Mm -hmm. When we become independent, <clears throat> we we depend on our will and willpower, right? But when we we become interdependent, we start depending on God within us, let's say, or our soul. Like this is how I see it. So these are only uh, the, the timelines or streams of consciousness. So if we can only see like everything from this point of like quantum perspective, basically, right? Where I'm at is fine. It's just a stream of consciousness. I can move to the next level. But you, I can move to the next level when I am aware of where I am right now. <laughs> it's most people, they don't know. About. Right, having that, taking that honest inventory, like okay, yeah, honest inventory, but with no judgment, with no judgment, judgment. That's the mm -hmm. hardest part, right? Mm -hmm. And then it listening is, yeah. to the intuition, and because because the doors, we call them doors, <laughs> the doors to the next level are you know presented to us a couple times a day, and what happens is if if people, I think most women in your group are aware, uh, what who Abraham Hicks is, right? And what they talk about, law, law of attraction and stuff. And they use specific language, mm -hmm. which most people just don't um, understand in the way I think I understand it. Like they talk about the 16 minutes, uh, 16 seconds or 17 mm -hmm. seconds. It's, it's right, yeah. Or 17. Like every 16 seconds, you have this window of opportunity to do what we talked about at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. to, to hold the thought, hold the vision, from, yeah. Yeah, so 16 it, seconds, you can visually, you can just grab the next level <laughs> and, you know, hold to the next level of consciousness, to the higher vibration, right? To the yes. higher frequency. Mm -hmm. And if you can stick to it for like one minute or whatever they say, like Was it 68 minute, seconds minute, or something like that? <laughs> Something like that. Whatever it is. This yeah. Is, yeah. This is when the door opens actually and you can just go there and stay there, right? And you can just climb like visually, you can just climb. Mm -hmm. If we could look at it as a as a game, it would be so much easier. Right? Make it fun. Make money make fun. fun. Make love fun. Like one of the things I teach the, the people in, in the group in this the audience in this group is go dating for fun not to find the one stop holding on to each guy as are you my partner for life rather go out and meet human beings and have fun yeah. and that you know creating each moment and and be present in the moment make it fun and enjoyable as that's the game right make each moment as fun as possible and hold it, hold that feeling. Yeah, hold the feeling. And when the moment is unbearable, because there are some moments that we just, right? We can just calm down and, and tell to ourselves that we chose it. I know it's, <laughs> it's uh, radical. Right, right. And a lot of people aren't ready for that, but it is the way that... I, I, some, I sometimes I'm not ready for that, you know, when I'm stuck at home with four kids and it's a summer break and I'm like, I chose it. I chose, I chose it. this. I chose this. This is what I chose. And, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's be real. Like, we are humans. That's, that's yes. the part that I wanted to emphasize. It's like, we are still humans. We're still and humans. we came here to make mistakes. Yes. <laughs> This is the fun dance of life. Like I'm not a Zen master who's like, mm, yeah, I'm so perfect. I, I jump. <laughs> That's so easy. Right. Like no, the, the pursuit no, no, no. of perfection. I think is another thing that chokes people off from their flow. Right? Of trying oh, to be. Oh yeah, perfect. I mean, it's, it's a real no thing as perfection. No. Mm -hmm. We and came will... from perfection, but we came here mm -hmm. to be imperfect. And... Yeah. And I all of us are so, <laughs> so uniquely equipped with our version of imperfection. Oh, it's, yeah. it's just so beautiful when we tap into um, the, those desires that are shown to us. Like, my desires are not the same exact as your desires. And 
when people learn that, oh, that thing that I want is actually meant for me. Yeah. So I basically feel seeing that our desires choose us. But mm -hmm. like I said, I, I see everything through from God's like perspective, a right? God's down perspective. Yeah. The God's expression of us is through our desires, right? Like God placed yeah. that in our, or the desire was there, not because I'm selfish or greedy or have had this personal experience that makes me want it. It's because it was already there. It's always been there. Yeah, and even those so-called like selfish desires, right? The ego desires. I don't believe that we should like kill our ego. That's mm. not the thing for me. The selfish desire. When I hired this first coach, that was this um, international, right? Coach. I took my business from national to international. The the five hundred dollar coach that I didn't have money for. My yeah. desire was like I was seeing all those people online, the, those coaches. I'm like. I want to live like that. I want to have the my like. I want the bag. I want the shoe. I want whatever. Right. I want, yeah. yeah that, of course, I had higher desires. Like, oh, I want better life for my children and all that. But I want this stuff for myself too. Why not? Right. So we shouldn't That's be so like cool. those naming those selfish desires selfish and try to suppress mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I feel those desires are our GPS system too. Right. Showing us Absolutely. the way. Absolutely. A million percent. Yes. Yeah. And your gorgeous home that you're renovating is going to uplift you and support you and raise your vibration and your families. It's all on purpose, even though it's driving you insane right now. <laughs> I am so ready to give up. Today was a fight with my husband. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm just saying this because I don't yeah. want people to think that it's all like... Um, so perfect and fabulous. rainbows and butterflies <laughs> yeah actually well i like that messy part too you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> well when you I move like through the drama it. too when you move through it you can go oh my gosh i can see how i can see how i did chose that and i i shifted i moved through that because the 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 fertilizer is what creates the rose and um i think life is a contact sport that's what being human is it's, having these experiences and then choosing exactly. choosing that next level. So Alex, how, how can people, I'm going to share your, um, what is it? The, I love your, the grand leap. The grand leap. I love that because yes. it's a grand, a thousand dollar an hour leap. The big leap. <laughs> I, yeah. I got that wordplay and I'm like, that is brilliant. Like I think you are. Um, oh so I'm going to share that in the group, the link for people to download that and, you know, read your story and, um, what else do people need to know about you? How to connect with you? Do you have a community? Um, how else can people get to know you? Best thing is to send me a friend request on Facebook. Like my personal profile, personal Facebook profile is the center of the epicenter of of the uni of my universe and nice. i share my daily through porn there for now okay mm -hmm. it's the best way to get you know the first look at the daily through porn and just uh, check the links in my profile and be there and read my thing and then i'll guide you from there awesome perfect yeah and i'm getting your emails every day so i love that the daily through porn Yes. Yes. It's activating. This is what happens when you connect with somebody who can guide you, right? You're activated in a way that you never knew you needed to be activated. And it's just like adding like baking soda to vinegar and that alchemy happens. <laughs> You're an alchemist. The, 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 the foam and the bomb and the mess. Yeah. I, yes. I hope that this... I just hope that this is activating to people uh, because, you know, I'm writing it anyways, but I like when people right. read it and let me know they had uh, received something Some kind from of that. brain explosion. Oh my God. And it unlocked their door into their next level. That's the way it yeah. works, Alex. You, you and I know this. 
we've practiced it. We've experienced it on both ends with clients and with our own mentors. This is where I think the world is moving to people helping people in it where energy is more of a currency. Of course, yeah, the energy, the creativity, the flow. I kind of feel like we are moving on the scale of consciousness collectively because what I was talking about was the personal right mm -hmm. journey from lower, uh, lower, my God, my, my, my phone, lower <laughs> um, timelines, frequencies to higher frequencies to flow, but also as collect, like collectively, the, mm -hmm. the, the general um, level is going up. Right. And, Absolutely. And I really believe that it's time for all people, like a person on earth, have their basic needs met, mm -hmm. you know, right. and then so that we can all um, kind of like enter the age of quantum, which I, I call it. Yeah. Some people call it 5D, whatever. Right, um, whatever. And, mm -hmm. you know, just be pro like lead the productive and creative lifestyle. Like, right. you know, just imagine how would, how fabulous it would be if we were all interdependent, um, you know, just just connecting with people, I kind of see, like, clicking with people and creating from there, like, co-creating from there. Yeah. You know? Well, it's happening. Like, we are now co-creating. It is happening. We're doing it right now. The, the You know, we're evolving as a species to become more intuitive, right? We're accessing that intuition more. We're exchanging ideas around the globe instantaneously co-creating un unique experiences. Yeah, we have internet. <laughs> exactly. For a reason. This web is collectively raising the vibration of the planet. And I think it's happening primarily through women and feminine energy of collaboration versus competition. So of we're course, qu quantum. the rising tide is lifting all the boats. Hmm? Quantum is basically feminine energy, right? It's the womb of the yeah. universe, the dark mother that manifests everything else. So that's what that that that's that's feminine energy. And that's what we're doing. We're changing the world. And that's right so now. beautiful. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And we so are I think I think it's really, really important for people like you who are here to impact millions um, in your ways. And for anybody, even for somebody who's only here to impact her children, because that ripple effect go just keeps on expanding. And so each and every one of us who is accessing our own quantum creative energy, the God within us, is um, adding to the collective consciousness. Of course, from a universal perspective, it doesn't matter if you impacted one person today or 10 million people today, it's all, you know, better than, z like, one is more than zero. I don't know right. who said that. I cannot give credit, like, that, that somebody said, somebody, mm -hmm. somebody famous said that. One is more than zero, right? So if you can impact or influence one person today. Right. You know, your job is done. <laughs> and yeah. you can just high five yourself and... You've impacted me. If we've impacted one person to go, oh my gosh, I can do my life a little bit differently. And and she just has more, um, she steps into the, the, the river or the stream and doesn't yell at her children or does something different in her own family. That ripple effect goes, just expands. Yeah, this is... Uh... We are all fractal beings, right? It's, a, it's like a hologram. So you, if you can impact one person, even if, it, if that person is you, <laughs> then you create this yeah. ripple effect, right? That yeah. goes. Mm -hmm. And the more people that, we, that, that get on board and start to access their quantum, the faster the collective consciousness, consciousness raises, the faster the healing takes place and the energy, feminine, masculine, oh, yeah. comes into yeah, balance. Yeah, this is... This is what I think I wanted to say too, that yeah. we have to, we can access the, we can influence the collective only going inwards. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, hey, I'm going to influence you. Hey, don't eat McDonald's. Like I, did, <laughs> I had coffee, okay? I had coffee. I didn't have fries, but I, I could go there like, I don't eat that food. It's not good for you. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's, we go inwards. We 
do the inner work, which is the 80 or 90% of the work that we ever have to do. Yeah. And then this is how we rise the collective consciousness too. Yeah. Embracing that shadow within too and doing a little bit of like love on that shadow and Oh, there's these so conversations <laughs> these conversations just can go on for days right it's so good um it is it is it is yeah it, it's it's very uplifting for me it just like keeps the ball rolling and the momentum going of of how how important it is for as many people as possible to start accessing their heart and to choose out of overwhelm and scarcity and lack and doing 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 going crazy and exhaustion to access this that's where the magic happens yeah meditation for sure every day journaling helps so yeah i uh, you know i have four kids <laughs> i said it like a million times i could use it as, a, as an excuse or i can use it as a motivation right right yeah exactly everything is a choice everything so it would be just so easy to say my god like it, you know, it would be socially uh, totally like uh, expected even of me to yes. do anything else, right? And right. to give up mm -hmm. on myself and never do anything again. And everybody would be like, yeah, sure, you, you can do this. You have four kids. Like, okay, for um, US standards, four kids, it's not that many. But European standards, four kids is like, just like crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so... I had to, at some point, I had to decide if I want to be that person or I want to be that person, right? I started waking up yes. at 5 a.m. to do my inner work. Mm -hmm. Because without it, <laughs> I was immediately in the morning, like, if I didn't wake up earlier than mm -hmm. my kids to do the, my inner work, I was yeah. jumping on the low timeline of, like, yes. the lowest low of You're the horrible mother. <laughs> in, in anxiety, ready to battle. Yeah. yeah, screaming yeah. kids already, like a yeah. million things of me. And I was, I didn't have my space. I didn't have my time. I didn't have my access to my soul. I'm like going like a zombie mother into mm -hmm. the, you know, screaming and whatever mode. Uh, right. It's that's like, why I decided. Yeah, I decided you that decided. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. It's hard. This version of you said, come on up here. Let's do this. That's the habit, right? It's like Abraham yeah. Hicks says. You got to plug in your toaster. Oh yeah. If you want to make toast versus bread, or vacuum your the vacuum cleaner if you want to actually be vacuuming versus just going through the motions. That's the zombie life. The the woke up life is a little bit different. And then you but then you step into that stream. So I don't know if you have to get back to your kids, but I am so thrilled with you being here. And do you have three takeaways that people can go, okay, I can do these three things right now and shift into a new timeline. I'm, at, I'm putting on the spot, I realize. <laughs> Focus on trust. Focus on trust. Know that you're a divine being and you are always protected and you're always going home to unconditional love. You came from there. It's nothing you have to work for. You came from there. Focus on trust. Focus on faith. That would be one thing. Second thing is follow your soul. Your soul guides you through desire. Desire is your GPS. Follow your soul always. If you have a, a I don't know, soul guidance to buy a donut. Okay, maybe donuts is not a good idea. But you know, you have to it start can discerning. Be. <laughs> yeah, it can be. So you have to start discerning. And it's, it's, it takes practice to listen mm -hmm. to that voice and to follow that voice. So you don't have to be perfect. Follow soul. That's the second thing. And the third thing is sharpen your intuition and discernment because this is pretty much the same thing. So intuition is how the divine con um, connects with you. Mm -hmm. and speaks to you right so when we pray we talk to god when we uh, get intuitive leads the god speaks to us intuition not in in this time of craziness and you know the world is on fire and everything intuition and discernment are like survival skills very yeah agreed that's beautiful yeah, the, the intuition is what's going to get us through this. 
Well, Alex, thank you very much. I really appreciate having you and you taking the time out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, like they're just waving at me there. <laughs> the oh my gosh. Like, they're packing some food. Like I'm not getting McDonald's. I just get their coffee because it's good. And it was I love their Starbucks. coffee. Sorry. It's, um, things I've learned on the road, McDonald's coffee and restrooms are much better than Starbucks. Mm -hmm. That's my God's wisdom. Sorry, Starbucks. <laughs> Sorry, but the bathrooms are disgusting and dirty. So McDonald's keep their, keeps their stuff clean. So there we have it. Truth porn. <laughs> Truth porn. It is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all that it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to share this video and your resources with the group. And I've invited people to ask you questions directly, reach out to you directly in the either um, in the group or in your personal profile. I'll make sure that they understand that. So yeah, you are a thank gift you so much. to the universe. You're gorgeous. Thank you so much, Alex. I love your work. Thank you. I love your work too. You're a gorgeous soul. So My are soul you. sister. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank Talk you. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.